one of the best things that's happened to poker in a really long time. You know, like when it first came up out and about, a lot of people are kind of a little bit skeptical, like, well, who's going to want to live stream? And like everyone's like, yeah, I don't know if I want to do that. But now there's just a lot of good people doing streams out there, um, a lot of quality content, and it's uh, it's just really good for the game. Like people are, will be able to have a resource to go to where you can get that feedback really quick. You know, like a lot of times um, these professional players or streamers or just poker players in general are not accessible at all. You know, if if you see Phil Ivy you know, showing up at a live event, right? He plays a tournament, he busts, he, he leaves. He doesn't go around answering your questions or whatnot, right? Or like Dan Negron, you know, just a lot of people want to say something, but they really don't have the opportunity, though. But, you know, we've seen Dan Negron stream on Twitch, and he answers questions, you know, and it's just so much more accessible. And as a poker fan, that's really good. It keeps people engaged and enjoy poker. It really, and one of the things is, it really brings back the fun in poker, you know, poker, I felt like, was kind of getting a little stale with people. People were like, oh, I just got it all in. What a cooler. Oh, well. I mean, things like that. And I think that Twitch brings back the fun in it, you know, like the chill environment, the interaction, which is very important, um, I think, in poker. It's it's a really good thing. And I, I you know, I, I can visualize it, you know. It's just, I, I want to be a part of it when it just gets bigger and bigger and that's that's why I'm here. Well, you are certainly part of it, man. And yes, uh, Twitch is the is one of the greatest things in poker in a long time. I, I find it just fascinating. Now, for your stream, you, you talk about it being chill. Your stream is certainly chill. For viewers that haven't been to your stream yet, uh, what will they find there? What stakes are you playing? What's the feel of the stream? And tell us about that heart you make with your hands every time you're all in. <laughs> I do several things. I like to do a little heart to kind of say, thank you guys. Here's a heart from me. And also, it's a triangle that I do. Oh, it's a triangle. <laughs> and so in the, in the Macau tournaments I've been to, they have like the all-in triangle one. And you might see them in the EPTs as well, I believe. People would just do that at their hand, and at least in Macau. And then like, that means that I'm all in, basically. But my stream in general is, is very chill. I, I find that, you know, Twitch is a is a great place for education. You know, we, we want to teach people to play poker. Um, because, you know, that's why people are here to watch the stream, right? So I do educate people. I'm like, okay, well, this is, whenever I have a hand, table and I have a hand, I, 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 do, I go through my thought process, you know? I'm like, okay, I'm folding here because this player is raising from first position, you know? But if you raise from a later position, I might play this hand, for example. You know, by giving the insight of why you're doing plays, people learn really well. Right. Um, but, you know, having said that, of course, I'm streaming for a long time and people, they, they want to learn too, but they want to do it in, in a fun way too. Right. So it's, I find it, you know, very chill. You know, people can just come in and be like, hey, what's going on today? Um, have you made any deep runs? Have you won any money? Or how, how are you liking in like uh, Vancouver? How are you liking London? Or, you know, just things like that. It's, it's really nice and uh, soothing for me, I guess, while I stream like many, many hours. 